Hey everyone, HHO for all. I want to show you guys my new fuel cell I've been working on. Um, I call this the brick cell. It consists of stainless steel PC slot covers. I cut them down with tin snips and then drilled out holes on either side and fed nylon bolts through them. And um, I used some of the other slot covers as connections. So that way it's completely stainless steel with the exception of the um, nylon bolt and nut. And it's it's not bad. It's got a decent output to it. Um, and it runs at about 10 amps. So it's it's interesting. Uh, the reason that I was putting this together, um, you can actually see that it only goes about halfway across these bolts. So I actually need to build it out all the way. So when it's all done, I should have... Uh, Hopefully, um, when it's all done, I should have three neutral connections, or three negative connections, excuse me, and two positive connections. Uh, the reason that I'm doing it in that configuration is because I want more negative connections than positive because the negative is where the hydrogen is generated. And hopefully, uh, it'll work out with that configuration. The reason that I'm building this is because uh, this container that I put together a while back in an earlier video. Um, I'm just trying to finish this up because I've got so many different projects going on and uh, not enough time and not enough money to get them all completed. But um, trying to focus on this one. Hopefully finish this one up and and see what I can do with it. Um, the deal is, is that uh, fuel cell goes in here and uh, as you can see, it only takes up about half of the space in there. So as soon as I build this out, it'll be a snug fit. And um, I'll take these connectors here, and I'll bend them over, and I'll drill a hole through them. So that way, on the top, on the plate, they have one connection for the positive and one for the negative. And that's that. Um, the way this container works, the fuel cell will actually be down below, so the gas will rise and then go through these tubes up into this top chamber, which will will have your electrolyte. Um, it also works as a refill, a water refill, and a bubbler, um, because in between the gas coming up through the hose, uh, the water, the force of the water, the gravity, will actually pull the water down into the lower chamber. Um, up here, I'm actually going to be drilling out a, um, a hole and putting in a half-inch hose barb. Hopefully, that'll be enough for the output. But that's what I've got going on here. Next video, um, I'll end up putting this cell into a container and show you the output that I'm getting off of this. I'm pretty impressed with it, and I'm hoping that I'll get double the output when I finish building out this um, but right now, I'm on limited resources, so uh, it'll probably take me a little while before I get enough parts, enough materials to build this thing and complete it. So anyway, that's that. This has been HHO for all. I'm out of here.